and welcome to another episode of Skyrim with Dude, episode number 14. We're outside of the Dark Brotherhood. We just completed the three Dark Brotherhood murder contracts for the Night Mother. And um, there were just some random dudes. One was like a minor chick and uh, another one was a bum living in a tent. The other one was just uh, some dude living along a river. But anyway, what we're going to do now, uh, we've already gone back and collected our 780 gold for each contract killing. And we just accepted a new contract from the Dark Brotherhood, some chick near the pool. We have to talk to Miri, and it sounds like it's one of those jealous rage contracts where you have to kill her scorned lover or something. So let's head on out to the city of Markath. Let's do it, fast travel. Okay, we've arrived. Dark Ethanus and I, my loyal companion, are here, hanging out, and um... It's not obvious or anything that I'm an assassin hanging out in the city, but that's who the chick right back there who I have to talk to. Let's go talk to her. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're a skank. The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. Now, Elaine is a dude, believe it or not. I know you guys are thinking, yeah, yes. chick. No, Elaine's a dude. <laughs> I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. Oh, easy to kill. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin, Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. Well, let's clean it out. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. If you can. I want you to kill someone else. Ooh, an optional well. killing. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. <laughs> this chick at the counter is like listening to everything. <laughs> Behind her. I'll make it worth your while. She's trying to act like she's not listening to anything, but uh, okay, so we got an optional killing. Kill Nilizling Shatter Shield. Okay, well, I'll go into the story later. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. The man I married would never speak of leaving his home. What is this chick selling? Oh, she has like necklaces. Keep each other safe, no matter she looks what. mean. Okay. Anyway, Zerkeith has let us go. All right, time to collect some souls here. With our glass bow of malediction. Damn it. A little hunting on the way, never hurt anybody. Oh crap. Damn you, dragon! Damn you to hell! Okay, time to switch bows. <laughs> Beautiful dragon. That's a blood dragon. Ooh. Oh, shit. Somebody's attacking me. Or, I don't know. I saw an arrow fly by me. It was my arrow that came back down. <laughs> I think it was. It's pretty cool. Die of a f die, you bastard! Okay, time to use a little potion action. Okay, I'm gonna use the deadly poison on my sword. Yes, I'm going to use um, healing potion. I need to heal thyself. Potion of healing. Continue the battle. 
Okay, the poison. I poisoned the dragon successfully. As you can see, it's, dr it's a uh, green tint. A green hue to the uh, damn dragon. Okay, let's go back to the bow. Oh, there's Darkethus over there, whacking him with the sword. Get this dragon in the ass. Oh, yeah. Fire! Fire! Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Dead blood dragon. Thank you, Darkethus. There he is. Coming out of the flames. Victoria's hero. Smacking the dragon with his glass war hammer. Okay, I got the dragon soul. Um, not too bad of a battle. It was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> you know, the dragons really, when you become uh, higher in ranking level in the game, um, don't become as challenging as they used to. But there are mods for that in the PC version of the game where you can upgrade the strength of the dragon fights because uh, if they become a little boring in later levels. Here, Darkethus, can you carry my dragon bones, dude? I'm behind you. Totally forget ahead. about this sometimes. What is it? What do you want? Can you carry my dragon bones? You wanted me to do something, yes? Ours Don't get pissed. Follow. Need me to carry Here, something? trade some things. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Dude, relax. Okay, Darkethus, I'm going to give you my miscellaneous dragon bones. Lead. There we go. I'll follow. All right, dear. Let's do it. Interesting sign I've never seen before in the land of Skyrim. Can go down. Watch out, dude! All right. Okay, we're gonna go right because that's where the arrows are depicting. We need to find these. Uh, I think it's a Dwemer ruin, filled with evil bandits and a scorned lover. All right, back on mission. Get back on mission. Check the map. Map time. This is where I am now. This is where I need to... Wow, that's a long way. Holy smokes, I didn't think it was that far away. Okay, I'm gonna fast travel. <laughs> Damn! Holy smokes, so... Alright. Okay, so this is the uh, optional kill here in Windhelm. Huh? Somebody posted a comment on YouTube, one of my videos. Dude, you suck so bad. Yes, I do. <laughs> Alright, let's find this optional kill. Now, these are very sensitive because you can't really be seen out in the open. As you know, just murdering somebody. Oh, there she is. And, of course, there's a guard standing right here. Watching over her. Let's talk to her, see what she says. What? Did you need something? She's so nice. Look, she has a basket full of flowers. She's pretty. And Miri wants her dead. <laughs> hmm. This is some pretty uh, sinister things to say to her. What's the best way to kill somebody? Just come out and say it it's like this. Do you hear that? It's the sound of your sister screaming in the void. Or you say, Miri sent me. She's quite unhappy. And then she just runs off. Um, she remains silent. Trying to stand there gawking? Go away. You're starting to frighten me. Okay, so you don't want the guard to see. I'm gonna save it right here because if I screw up, then I won't have to come back to this. I like the flaming bow. Let's see this nice girl go down in flames. <laughs> That's such a mean thing to do. Anybody see that? Anybody see that? There's a guard. He's looking this way. I don't think he notices anything odd. We're still hidden from his view. Uh oh. He sees the murder. The murdered person. Okay, he's like, oh, whatever. Somebody just died there. We're standing here. The Imperators think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their <laughs> ignorance. 
I guess not. He didn't see anything, the actual murder happened, so... There's some of the flowers. Let's take some of these flowers. <laughs> Flower basket. Oh, what a waste. Such a toasty, warm building right there. There's a bar in there, too. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's get the hell out of town. You know, I felt really dirty at the end of uh, playing Fallout 3 also on the Xbox 360. I went ultimate evil in that game. And at the end, you're like, you know, there's really no big reward for being a totally evil person. <laughs> you know? It's almost, it's more rewarding to be a good person, really. I mean, whatever makes you feel good. It didn't really make me feel that good to be a totally evil person at the end of Fallout 3. But, you know, I bought Fallout New Vegas on the PC, and I can't wait to play that. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I purchased it on Steam. And um, I just cannot wait to uh, play that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Go out west to California, places like that. Nevada. All right, let's uh, go. We can go that way. Let's see how far away it is on the map. Not too far. We can hoof it. Looks like very uh, mountainous terrain, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, let's fast travel. Save a little time. Uh, let's see here. What's the best way to get here? It's kind of hard to tell by the terrain. Hmm. I wonder if I can get there from here. This looks like it might be a little rough, but I think we could let's do it. All right. Huge, huge ass mountain in the way. With bandits. Oh, there goes Durkethis. <laughs> Get him. Durkethis is awesome. He just like... I love how he just whacks people. Orcus heroes. Archer. Archer above. Take cover. Must be multiple archers. Getting hit from both sides. Well, you know, we gotta get out of here because this isn't where we wanna be. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna um retreat because I wanna stay on mission. And uh, I don't think this is where we wanna be. Let's check the map. No. <laughs> okay, we wanna get and we can't get up through that mountain, so this is kind of like gotta go 180 and then take a right. Alright. The bandits follow us, they follow us. I think I've fought these people before. Of course I have, because I've been at this location. This game really puts my mind at ease, makes me very relaxed and peaceful to play. Uh, I like the snow and the atmosphere makes me really relaxed, but um, of course when you encounter these all of these evil people and beasts, it gets your blood pressure going. Your blood starts boiling. Okay, I think this might be the right way. Yeah, I think it is. Anywhere there's stairs, a staircase. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crouch down because Obviously, there are bandits in here, as told to us by that evil chick that wants these people dead. So we gotta be careful. I think we're detected. Let's get out the weapons. Yep. Rawl Bathar. Let's get out the Sword of Burning. And... How about some uh, Fireball and Fire Breath? Let's just, like, flame people. Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh, she dodged and parried. It only took one hit to kill her. Not much. Pretty easy. <laughs> she has nothing else of value. Oh, shit. Archers! Archers above! Flame the asses! Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh! Get him, Darkethus! Get him! <laughs> Arrow to the knee. Do you see that? Your coin. Time for you to die. 
Be careful, Durkitis. He has the high ground. <laughs> awesome. Let's see what this idiot has on him. He has some arrows. That's good. All right. Yeah, Durkitis had an arrow to the knee. Looks like it's evaporated already. Looks like he's okay. Let's give him a little healing. These little healing hands on Durkitis. That don't Help him out a little bit. <laughs> he looks pretty happy. Okay. Looks like a Dwemer ruin to me, that's for sure. Beautiful. Obviously a trap ahead. A flaming trap. Sword at the ready! One of those holes. Okay. This dude's waking up. Take it. That's the best you can do. Oh, whoops, don't want to use that spell. <laughs> don't want to give him any advantage. Let's use Icy Spear. Oh! Get him, Darkethus. Finish him off! Finish him off, Darkethus. What are you doing? Come on. Finish it. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Darkethus, what the hell? You're just standing there with your damn bow. <laughs> Pretty cool, uh orcish dude with face paint and tusks. Awesome knotted beard. <laughs> Okay, Drakethus, I expect you to whack people with a finishing move after they decide to yield, okay? With the glass warhammer, please, okay? Awesome armor, by the way. Looks good. Anything of value? Yeah, I'll take a carrot. Munch on a carrot. It's like people have broken in here before. Obviously, these bandits broke down the door. Didn't know how to open it up properly. Ha <laughs> ha! And they're using these traps to uh, roast a skeever. Looks very tasty, actually. Looks charred and tasty. Probably overdone, though. All right. Nothing around here. Oh. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Well, that guy's not tough, it's Marauder. Oh my... Oh! I can't believe it. Well, he had a good weapon. Didn't expect that. So used to not dying nowadays. <laughs> of course, I'm not wearing any awesome armor either. I'm just wearing this assassin's uniform. It provides limited armor. It's more for sneaking around, though. All right, let's not waste time on this dude. Let's just whack him. Whack him, whack him, whack him good. Carrot. Okay. <laughs> let's find uh, I see spear. And let's add some um, a little bit of awesome armor assistance here. This is called Lightning Cloak. It'll help whack people that get too close to me. <laughs> like this dude. Oh! 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 Get him! Finish him off! Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, Elven Mace is worth quite a bit. I'll take it. No wonder you got me last time. Plus, he had pretty good armor on. Look at this. Steel plate. 
obviously the bandits rank up alongside of your ranking. They get a little bit tougher. These aren't just regular bandits. They're marauder bandits. Obviously, I'm shocking and flaming her. We'll just watch Darkethus just whack her. Oh my gosh. Darkethus! No! <laughs> Damn it, somebody's calling me on the phone. I can hear it ringing. Come back here! Come back here! Oh shit. He has a hammer too. <laughs> Finish him off, Darkethus. Oh shit. Oh man, I better help Darkethus out here. Heal him up. Oh shit. Time to take a potion. Well, this is, I'm glad this is uh, somewhat challenging. I'm enjoying this. A lot of archers in here. Okay. <laughs> Damn archers everywhere. Oh! <laughs> Tarkinus and I are just getting our asses kicked. Alright, again. Whack this dude. Carrot. Alright. Oh! Right up the kazoo. Did you see that? <laughs> Didn't stick though. And that is a big spear. <laughs> okay, let's get this dude because he's an asshole. He's tough to beat too. Oh, in the chest. Smash! Oh, nice move, Darkethus. Yes. Darkethus, watch it. There's archers. How dare you hurt Darkethus? Oh, shit. I missed. Oh, did I hit Darkethus? I did. <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Let's help him out. I don't think he minded too much. Oh, to the head! How do you like that? How do you like that new hat you got going there? Doesn't, doesn't bother that much. Oh, <laughs> that rocks! Decapitation! Yeah! Clean break. All right. Well, hey, Darkeith, it's oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that. Check it out. Oh, that's cool. That's freaking cool. Look at that. Assassinated. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let us continue. I think I'll save it now after these battles. Ignoring my own advice about saving. You know, a lot of people are saying they're playing this game in third person like this. The first game didn't work very well. Uh, well, I shouldn't say the first game, but the uh, fourth game, The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. It was hard to play in third person, but a lot of people say they enjoy playing The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, in third person like this. You know what, though? I, I kind of enjoy just um, playing it traditionally like I've been playing the other game. So I play in both, I guess, third and first person like this. I kind of enjoy probably playing first person a little bit more. It's easier to like look around and enjoy the uh, scenery, I think, that way. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go down there right now. I'm just gonna go. Oh, okay. There we go. 
Lock picking increased. Oh. A little bit of oil on the ground there. These things are really cool. It's like a ballista. This one's damaged. I think I fired one in the game so far. There we go. There's some more. I think I fired, fired them on some orsomers. Okay. Ooh. Oh, awesome. Let's activate the lever. See the dudes down there? Oh, that's awesome. That blew up some things. I guess they may be coming up here. <laughs> there he goes! I guess I could be helping him out with archery right now, but I just want to watch him fight. Smash people with a hammer. Two hammers. Hammer against hammer. There's the dude I'm supposed to kill. Oh shit, he has a hammer too. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, that sucked. <laughs> what an asshole. Icy Sphere and Unrelenting Force, which I love to knock people off the wall with. Oh shit, sorry, Darkeetas. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Got him. One whack. He was easy. For fun, let's just call up the Sanguine Rose, shall we? No! Oh! oh! Thanks, guys. You guys rock. You're awesome. This dude is an evil bastard. <laughs> A Dramora demon that you can summon. Look at his armor, man. That is badass. I can't wait to get to the Dramora armor. That's heavy armor, though. I usually stick with light armor, but, uh, you know, I kind of evolve throughout the game. So, um, let's go over here. Now you can kind of see his face a little bit better. Cool face paint, kind of a reddish tint. Beautiful uh, artwork, just gorgeous. Look at these two dudes. Awesome warriors, they rock. All right. Anyway, uh, we fulfilled the... Uh, oh, let's go check out and see what kind of spoils we get off that dude. Hmm. 
consortium key. There he is. Idiot. Elaine. Doesn't have anything. It's just fine clothes. <laughs> Easy to beat. I think I killed somebody over here. Maybe not. Huh, some stuff though. Gotta go in here. Looks like there's some awesome things in here. Another master lock. There we go. Oh, boom. Big room. Big light at the top of it. Gold ore. Take all that. Dwarven ingot. Nah. Coins. Banded iron shield again. Of uh, resist magic. Nah. Too heavy. Steel war axe. Hide armor of destruction. Yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. If I can carry it. You know, I'll take it. Sell it later. I need to buy some more houses in in Skyrim, you know? I only own one. Yeah, Breeze Home. Well, I'm going to stop it here because uh, this thing is dragging on quite a long time. So anyway, I'm going to continue through the rest of this Dwemer Ruin very soon. But thanks for joining me here at DudeGamer.com. Skyrim with a Dude, episode number 14. Stay tuned for further Halo and video game news here at DudeGamer.com. So don't forget to listen to Dude's Podcasts for all of your Halo and video game news and information. See you on the battlefield. This is Dude.